This errant flight shall easily be righted. Hold on! <laughs> Alas, I may have given false hope. Thanks a lot, Thor. You want to hit the self-destruct button while you're at it? I'm opening an impromptu brainstorming session, everyone. What do you got, PJs? Looks like he's taking over the electrical systems. I can't override. He's gonna crash us! And to make things more fun, he's reprogrammed the security on his cell door, keeping us out. It's too thick to blast through. I'm trying to hack in. Any chance that beeping just means free ice cream? It means we're coming in for a landing. Not the smooth kind. This probably isn't the best time, but I am totally sorry for getting you all into this mess. Apologizing and taking responsibility for your actions? Have you learned nothing from me? Anyone on the ground who can assist? Way ahead of you, webs. <laughs> Thought that'd be smoother. I've had worse landings when Hawkeye was flying. Guys, he's free! You will never contain the brilliance of Modoc. I overcame that so-called power dampener you put on me. Yeah, I didn't exactly have the time to test the dampening system on a technopath like you, so I... Ah! Do not interrupt me, you blathering fool. <clears throat> so, taking control of your pathetic ship was child's play, as will be destroying the Avengers. Wait! Technically, I'm not an Avenger. Stop talking! so-called shade. I'm not in control of my armor! He speaks the truth! As a technopath, it is I operating Iron Man's entire system! And now, you all will fall by your own leader's hand! <laughs> Poetic. Hey, Tony! Sorry, not sorry! Whoa! What are you doing, Webs? You can't shut me down from the outside. I know, but I can't adjust your oscillating wave propagation. He's unconscious. Explain. When we were in the jet trying to get control back, I ran a power scan over MODOK and learned what wave propagation he used to override technology with. So I adjusted your armor to the inverse of MODOK's waves, which created a feedback loop. And then, kaboom! Why do you think of that? I would have. Eventually. So hunting down MODOK was on your superhero to-do list? Yeah, it's been a rough year. Stopping the symbiote invasion, the Dark Goblin and the Lizard taking over Horizon High. I'm tired of getting dragged in every direction, so I'm being more proactive. Even though this did not go as smoothly as I hoped. Kid, it never does. But tracking down MODOK, then knocking him out? Brilliant. Not sure what your plans are after high school, but there might be room for you on the team. Really? Would I, uh, move into the tower? Of course. It's a 24-7 job. Being an Avenger will be your whole life. My whole life? Like, no family, no friends? Look at it more like getting a whole new, slightly dysfunctional, but very powerful family. Joining the Avengers would be a dream come true, but, uh... A big change for me. Can I think about it? Sure, kid. Take your time. But, you know, hurry up. Hey, I told you, Miles. If anyone would understand, it's Harry Osborn. He's right. 
I mean, I could teach a seminar on how to live with knowing your father is a super villain. Yeah, I thought getting spider powers would be the strangest thing to happen in my life. But then I found out my dad's evil and can turn into a swarm of bees. This can't be how most teenagers live. Yeah, <laughs> seems like how everyone we know lives. But that tracking app we all put together should help you find your dad. Getting any signals? A few possibilities I'll have to check out. But I'm paranoid he's tracking me. Every time I see a bee, I think it's a spy for Swarm. A bee spy. Again, our lives. Well, if he's figured out you're now living in Aunt May's and shows up for some reason, at least I'll be there. I'm trying to figure out what to do with my life. Have you reached a decision about, uh, what's the code we're using? The, the Stark internship? Being an Avenger is what I thought I always wanted, but I'd have to give up a lot that's important to me. You're lucky, Harry. Your future's right there with Oscorp. Yeah, I'm not so sure, Pete. I just wish I could do something without my dad's shadow over me. Well, at least we're all lost in this together. Uh, Bleat, trust me, I know how to use double-sided tape. I just hope Gwen appreciates me working late for her dance committee and how difficult it is for a shorter statured person to hang up these banners. What? No, I don't like like Gwen. Oh my, maybe I do. I've never climbed a ladder for anyone else. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Up for a game of one-on-one, -on -one, or are you too busy staring at your screen? Hey, MJ. Sorry, just trying to get a lot of things done. Like what? Splitting atoms, cloning sheep, getting crushed at basketball? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, sign up for college tours, check. Make decision on Stark internship, pending. Get date for school dance. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? Let me help you. Take me. You'd go to the dance with me? Sure. Should I wear a lab coat? <laughs> Max. Huh? It's your first week back as principal and you look exhausted already. You can't be falling asleep at tomorrow's dance. We're throwing it in your honor. <sighs> I know. But since I don't have a date, I wanted to unveil something special for the event. I've been up all night working on this matter transfer device. If this works, it would enable transportation on an unprecedented level. But I just can't come up with a solution. Well, if I'm following this, it looks like you're missing a matter translation equation to extrapolate the right constants. Uh, this, uh, oh, this should fix it. Wow. Peter, you might be even more brilliant than you realize. Pete, you have to see this. I was putting up the banners for the dance, which I think I did a fantastic job of, when something slashed at me and ran off. I pulled this pic from Bleach's visual feed. That looks like... A lizard. Or actually, THE lizard. It was only a matter of time before Kurt Connor showed up again. Maybe I was naive to hope he'd stay in hiding after we took down his boss, the Dark Goblin. I don't know. All Connor's ever wanted was a cure to stop him from lizarding out. Maybe he's not sneaking through our halls at night for anything evil. So why is Miles missing all the fun? He's out looking for Swarm. But three spiders against one lizard? We should be able to handle it. Especially once I tune this heat tracker to what I theorize is the body temperature for a 40-year-old man who transforms into a... There! From outside Max's lab! He's in the walls! Not so fast, lizard! Black tendrils? That's not lizard. That's... Venom! You can't be Venom. I destroyed you. You're just some weirdo symbiote that survived the invasion, right? You and I have bonded, Parker. And still you don't recognize me? Humans. Ah! So limited. 
Tsutsu. How are you back? <laughs> Why are you back? <laughs> 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 Why? Oh, I'm not going to ruin the surprise! You love it. I don't know what hole you crawled out of, but this ends now! It's only the beginning! Wherever he goes, we can follow! Come on! I lost his signal! You tuned your tracker to his heat signature. He can't just disappear. Except he did. Does that mean he's out of the school? I think so, but we gotta be sure. Stand out and search. No, Mr. Einstein, you're just as smart as I am. Max? Huh? Spider-Man? What's going on? What are you doing here? I thought the school was empty. I'm glad you're not hurt. Why would I be hurt? There's no easy way to say this. Venom's back. What? He was in Horizon, but he escaped. We searched all through this place, no sign of him. I should never have experimented on that thing. This nightmare just won't end. I don't know how he's still alive, but you can't blame yourself. I'm canceling the dance. It's too risky if Venom's lurking around. No. If we hide in fear, Venom's already won. But the well-being of the students is my biggest priority. Max, if we canceled every event in New York because a supervillain might show up, nothing would ever happen. Like, ever. Besides, I designed that tracker. If Venom comes, we'll be warned. Plus, we do know the amplitude of the electricity that took him down last time. His weakness, if it still works. I'll add an electric charger to my tracker. Okay, I'm nervous about this, but you make a very good point. Now go home and get some rest. We have a school dance tomorrow. Super scientist Peter Parker? I know, right? Quantum physics, fine. A uh, bow tie? No. Impossible. I needed my aunt's help. <laughs> hey, how about I grab us some punch? That's a thing it dances, right? So I've heard. Everything seems to be going well. Yep. Not a peep on the tracker. No sign of venom. No, I mean you and MJ. You guys are really hitting it off. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do you think we are? Pete, you're a master at messing things up. But if you can pick one thing not to, it's this. Okay. No pressure. Oh, I love this song. Hydrate fast, then dancing. Whoa. <laughs> Already on? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let me thank you all for coming. It's so good to be back at Horizon. I just wanted to tell you just how much you all inspire me. It's been a long time since I invented anything, but being back here with all of you, the ideas just keep coming. So as part of the celebration, I wanted to show off my latest invention here tonight for everyone to see. But before I present this, I just want to thank the one student who made it all possible. Peter Parker. Oh, I only corrected one equation. Peter, you've been there through everything. You've helped me in ways you do not yet realize. And now, allow me to present the Matter Transfer Portals. 
That's right. Here at Horizon, I found a way to bridge space. This gate is a portal to any location you can imagine, such as the Upper East Side, or even the Pyramids of Giza, or maybe a distant beach on the other side of the world. But the best part? This portal is not limited to only Earth. I... I can't believe he did this. Everything okay? Max, shut it down! That's some kind of alien symbiote world! <gasps> really, Peter? How could I have done that? It's almost as if I'm not myself. Almost as if you should call me... Maximum Venom! That's right. Your beloved mentor is secretly my puppet. You fought so hard to bring him back to your school. Never knowing you were bringing me back too. Ready, Gwen, get everyone out of here. Clear the area. We have to get out too. No, this is my school. I have to help the students and Max. Please get to safety. I'll meet you after. Severely underdressed! <laughs> Using the same trick twice? Venom evolves. I was only taunting you when I had my host suggest the idea. Max! <laughs> That's right, Parker. Hurt me and hurt your precious Max. I am unstoppable! What? How? Easy peasy, Venom Squeezy. That portal must have been pulling down terawatts of power. Only nearby source with that much juice? Horizon's arc reactor, which we just went and shut down. Like we're about to shut you down. Great move, guys. Everyone's out. The school's empty. So let's get this dance started. of his host. And right now, that's Max. That's how he repurposed this room's security field to stop us. And that's how he's figuring out how to reinitialize the arc reactor. That space gateway will be back up in minutes. You guys know the specs of this room. Find a way to bypass that force field. I'll keep him occupied. How? You can't touch him. This alien's developed a pretty outsized ego. I don't need to touch him to bring him down. How are you even here, Venom? I cooked you back at your crash site. <laughs> Ignorant human. Warriors of Plintar are not as easily defeated as you would believe. Especially one as strong as me. You thought I was destroyed. But the smallest part of me survived. On a seed I created. And you yourself brought me to Modell. I told you that you helped me more than you realized. It took me a long time to grow stronger inside of Modell. I was still growing when the others invaded. Not strong enough to take part, but also protected inside my host from the anti-venom. But as I grew, I found I could influence my host. By the time Hotel understood what was going on, I was already entirely in control. Not a symbiotic relationship, a parasitic one. Fully powered, hoping.
hope you like the story, Spider-Man. It will be your last. Guys, any luck? Please say yes. 30 more seconds. Okay, let me see what I can do. You won't be shutting down that reactor again. <laughs> Come, the way has been cleared. Lost brother. So then this must be Earth. Doesn't look so formidable, no. This won't save all. It's all over, over, over. Welcome to the end. Not to be rude to your stellar guests, but we fought off one invasion by your kind already. And we'll do it again. You'll never take our planet. <laughs> Foolish Earthling, we're not here to take your planet this time. We're here to destroy it!